thing. I feel like I've sort of become my friend's designated sex therapist. <laughs> as in, they're all like, you have such an objective point of view about sex. Oh yeah. Because you don't experience sex and you are immune to the effects of sexual attraction. Why do I have to go down on someone to prove to you that I'm part of this community? Love is love. Why does love equal sex? Hi there. Today we are playing Never Have I Ever, a sexual edition. Hi, my name is Carrie. I identify as a romantic asexual. Hi, my name's Caroline. I'm an asexual activist and filmmaker, and I identify as demisexual, which basically means I only experience sexual attraction when I'm close to someone or feel comfortable and safe around them. I'm Auden. My pronouns are they, them, and I identify as demiromantic and asexual. I'm Milana, pronouns are she, her, and I'm biromantic asexual. To me, asexuality is when you experience little to no sexual attraction. Personally, that is not at all. And biromantic is feeling romantic attraction to two or more gender identities. So for me, when it comes to demiromantic, I only really feel romantically attracted to someone. Um, once I've formed a really good emotional connection with them. First one, never have I ever faked a crush. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Okay, what's your story? <laughs> um, oh, I faked a few. Um, year eight was one, but I didn't, <laughs> at the time, I didn't know how long crushes were meant to go for. So yeah, for two years, I just was apparently crushing on this dude. <laughs> wow, I must have been in year nine. Just like platonic attraction, but we hung out all the time. So everyone was like, are you two dating? And I was like, actually, I have a crush on her. <laughs> and and eventually like she's talked to me, she's like, do you have a crush on me? And I was like, I actually don't know. <laughs> I've also had a few boyfriends too. Uh, growing up through school, it was so awkward and I didn't really understand what asexuality was yet. I just used it as a defense mechanism. You didn't want to make anyone feel rejected. How about you? In contrast, I was one of the luckier ones who knew about the concept of asexuality by the time the topic came up at school, but um, I guess I was just too honest to actually fake anything. <laughs> Different kind of awkward, I guess. <laughs> Why would you fake a crush? Honestly, just to fit in, because I felt like all my friends had crushes. I felt like that was a way to relate with them. And I noticed when I didn't have a crush, it was always, oh no, you're lying. Exactly, you? yes. Who do you actually oh have a crush on? Never have I ever been told it's just a face. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was really disenfranchising. I remember I was trying to explain to my dad what asexuality oh, was. Same. I was like, so, I don't experience attraction at all. And he was like, oh no, that'll change, don't worry. There might have been someone who was interested in having a romantic and sexual relationship with me who was trying to convince me that I would grow out of it, which I found offensive and uh, that's definitely a deal breaker next. Yeah, like I find people think it's something you can fix, like it's some sort of disease. Worst experience I had with it was actually a counsellor. Oh my god. When I came out to them, I'm not gonna say pronouns or anything, um, told me that it'll probably change when I get older when I start to feel things more. And this was all when I was already 18. How long do you want me to wait until this mystical sexual attraction just appears out of thin air? Like, that's a sexual attraction. That's a really good point because um, I'm about to start testosterone and I was talking to my um, endocrinologist about it. And they were like, oh, so you say that you're ace, but if you start taking testosterone, it might not make you ace. And I was trying to explain to them how I might have a higher libido, but I don't know if I'll experience sexual attraction. And they were like, no. Never have I ever not realised the song is about sex. <laughs> yep. Definitely. <laughs> I think it was like 50 cent, like candy shop. I was like, uh... yeah, you know, I love lollies. Cake by the ocean. Oh my I gosh. didn't realise that was about sex. Wait, is it? <laughs> Apparently cake isn't like actual cake, it's ass. Give Me More by Britney Spears. Oh, I should have yeah. known that like <laughs> most Britney Spears songs were about sex, but I just like, didn't it didn't fully compute. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I've never really looked too closely into lyrics of 
any songs. Oh, I have a whole playlist. It's literally called I May Be Ace But These Songs Slap. It's public, lots of aces like the playlist, and yeah, it's just full of songs that are so explicitly about sex. It's just, mm -hmm. they're so great though. Never have I ever had sex. I have never. Hi there everyone, I've had sex. <laughs> I, we haven't met, I've had sex though. It's not for me. Some people I know at home are probably confused because I've probably told them I have just to get over, like, get them over it. But I know a lot of people in the ACE community who have. I guess I just wanted to, like, see what the fuss was about. Like, I've heard that it's physically good, so I was thinking to myself, all right. Yeah, because ACEs can still experience yeah, I can and still enjoy having sex and all that. Yeah, and, like, the people I did it with were, like, nice enough. Like, you know, yeah. they were great. And then afterwards I was like, Okay, but my shower head could do this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people have and enjoy sex and have an amazing sex life and it's just they don't experience the attraction that leads them to that point. People say it strengthens their romantic um, relationships or... They just know, want to be closer to the person they love. Exactly. And stuff like that. Yeah, or, you know, they just want to physically feel good. Yeah. Some people think that demisexuality is just, quote unquote, what society um, deems normal sexual yeah. behavior. No, it's not. Never have I ever been told that I'll end up alone. You've never? I haven't. I'm so jealous of you right now. <laughs> I mean, my self-esteem says it to me sometimes. I mean, yeah, same. Yeah. I think so. It usually comes after rejection. I guess as in a romantic person where, yes, I, know, I, I hope so, because I don't want a partner. I've been told that I'm ace because I'm lonely which just isn't the case. A lot of people um, in the asexual community just get bombarded by like just aphobic rhetoric where it's just like, yeah, like if you don't have sex with me, you're gonna be alone forever. And I'm like, <laughs> like what goes through your mind? Do you think that's okay to say to someone? Like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> but I realize like the ace community, I would not trade it for anything. The bonds that you make with people because you're ace, it's honestly unparalleled. The mm -hmm. fact that you're allowed to be yourself. If anyone ever told me that I'd be alone, I just, I, I couldn't believe them. Like, yeah. yeah. Never have I ever been asked, how can you be sure if you've never had sex? I think that's the reason why I had sex for the first time and then the second time because I wanted to make sure. Most people that ask that are just genuinely curious in yeah. a way. But then there are also the other side of people who are just really creepy online. In oh, which yeah. case you get that nice button that's called the block button. <laughs> it's just like, why is it a requirement of queerness to have sex? Let's put it this way where, um, would you say to a straight person, how do you know you're straight if you haven't tried having sex with the same sex? See how silly that sounds? Because it's like, all about yeah. the attraction. It's not about the action. Yeah, exactly. Attraction, not, not action. action. Never have I ever had to hide who I really am. That's what the closet's for. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. For a long time, I was like just denying a lot of like who I was. I didn't feel like I'd be accepted. I didn't feel like I'd be supported. And sometimes you just don't feel like you'd really be understood. It's like, well, you don't experience it, so how are you gonna really understand? So you sort of hide that bit of you away as well. It honestly, it does feel isolating. There are various other things about myself that I've tried to hide over the years, but I think um, asexuality really wasn't one of them. Society's been based around it. Heaps of like successful ads have like used like, you know, sexual elements in yep. it. They just have shirtless guys, shirtless celebrities for no mm. reason. It's like, what is this hamburger got to do with a shirtless man? Never have I ever felt dismissed by the LGBTQ plus community. I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a asexual queer person, a lot of the time I'm told that there's a requirement of sex and it's just like, why do I have to go down on someone to prove to you that I'm part of this community. Why are you so hyper fixated on my sex life? Love is love. Why does love equal sex? I think a lot of time the rest of the LGBTQ plus community just forget we exist altogether. Unfortunately, there are a lot of gatekeepers out there. And yes. Exclusionists. 
who... They're the kinds of people who are very well set on the LGBT, but then they think that anything else doesn't belong. I feel like I'm sort of a double whammy because I'm ace and I'm also non-binary. It annoys me that they say a lot of the same things that um, straight people would have said to them. They take one experience and then like personify it for the entire community. But thankfully there are a lot of inclusive people out there. Yeah, who thankfully. Welcome the community. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever been asked if food is better than sex. <laughs> I have. Cake. Oh no, I've never. But food is better than sex. <laughs> cake is good. Cake is great. What we were talking about cake by the ocean? Oh yeah, not that kind of cake. Not that kind of cake. I think it came from a meme which was like, yeah, sex is good, but have you had cake? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everyone And then the aces took and that. The aces and were ran like, with yes, it. it is mine now. Like would I take an awkward encounter where I usually have to fake an orgasm over a French cheesecake? Uh no. <laughs> French cheesecake wins. Long story short, it's an internet inside joke. It's just a meme, basically. <laughs> oh, Thank yeah. you so much for watching, everyone. Yep, Smash yep, yep, that yep. like button. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to hit subscribe. And remember, cake is always the answer.